All right, what up you guys? Just pulled up to the course, figured I'd give you some footage from different areas of the facility. Parking lot is pretty empty at the moment, so I figure show you around, show you a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, let's spy on the guys who work here. Yo, what are you guys doing over here? Uh, about to go tear up the links. What I'm about to do. This guy's trying to spam me with the O's. Try to get the camera. I can't. I want you to try. I don't want to try. Let's see how good your aim is. This thing's waterproof, up to nine meters. All right, don't try! Damn, that's a bad idea. <laughs> and I'm wet. But as you can see, let's see if this is a DS stuff. Look at it. Just beads right off. It's so waterproof. And it looked like I wet my pants. It literally looks like I just pissed myself. Oh, sorry, I don't know why I showed you my crotch. What's up, Gabriel? What's up, you guys? This is uh, Phil and Brandon right here. As chilling. you can see, they're in uniform, just chilling on the job. Pretty slow day, huh? Yeah. Real yeah. slow. Real slow. All right. They're punching all the greens. Oh, are they? Oh, wow. We're punching the other side of our greens. That's why. I think the back nine's closed. Yeah, back nine does look closed. Hmm. So you can see the guys way over there on the green working on it. All right, strolling up to a... Okay, we're in a rush. It's getting all right. Clubs are getting out. And onto the old car. I yeah, one-handed. I'm stronger than I look. All right, so here we are on the first tee, stepping up, playing with a few buddies. That's Frenchy boy. He works at the golf course. Also one of the instructors here. Um, boy James Campbell. James Campbell over here plays uh, water polo for the USC team. What? Uh, how many national championships have you guys won in a row, James? Uh, we just won three in a row, actually. Three in a row. So he's on the water polo team. He says he's got Olympic athletes on the team. They won three national championships in a row. Beast of a guy. How tall are you, James? 6'5". Uh, six he's 6'5". Six I'm 5'10". How much you weigh? 2'10". 2'10". I'm not going to let you guys know what I weigh because I'm too self-conscious about it. <laughs> Alright, nice dive down the right side. Well. Well, he's well struck. He's a good guy. PGATourDriven.com. Gabriel Ryder on the tee. Here's Frenchie boy. He's not used to playing the back tees, but he's going to man up with us today. Oh, that's a good shot right down the left side. That'll work. A shot. Beautiful finish. Knock down left side. About 20 feet away. Check out James's grooves. That's the nastiest grooves I've ever seen. We're gonna give him a little, little touch up here. Get to work on that, James. That's not, that's not bad. Still got some wear, but at least the grooves are nice and clean. It's essential to have clean grooves if you want proper spin on the ball. Okay, if your grooves are dirty, the ball's gonna release more. James is rocking all Adidas today, which we love. Except for that hat. I don't mind wearing a Tyler's hat. We'll throw that away by the end of the round. Yeah, it's going just, just about hair right of the pin. Not a bad shot. Alright, so we're walking up here. As you can see, half the green is punched. They just punched the other half today. Um, because of our climate, we're more like in the desert area. So we punch our greens way later than everyone else. People on the coast punch their greens usually a month or two before we do. And as you can see, this could cause a problem for uh, putting. So, anyways, luckily I'm out of it. Just clear. There's my divot right there. Um, so, yeah. So, here's my ball. Got about 20 feet to the pin. Hopefully we can make it. James, he's putting from the sand. It's going to be slow. That's looking like a real good putt. Wow. Great putt. Two inches away. For birdie. He made his par. Gabe off the second tee. It's freaking bombed. Here's James, number two. That's right down the middle. Great shot, James. All right, up to the tee. Looks like a Titleist driver. Hold from the tips. Very well done. He's got a silky smooth swing. That's fine. That's 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 a great. Fade runner. 
Gabriel Reiter, 350 yards away, with drive off the deck. Oh my, he's absolutely smoked it. Get up there. It's just in the front left bunker. Great shot. Okay, here he is on the nice left to right downhill eye. 180. Oh, it's good contact. A little oh, left. That's probably he had to chip up and down, but he. Gabriel Wright has got about a 20 yard bunker shot. to a back right pin placement. Get set up. Seems to be well struck. What the soap sand in here? What the hell? Where the sand these damn bunkers? Hey, James has got about 35 yards to the pin. This is his third shot and he's up and down for birdie. Oh, that looks pretty good, folks. Oh, it's looking good. I can't see in the camera. Not bad, about six and a half feet below the pit. All right, this is James Campbell. Oh, it's looking good. Ooh, just bones the right edge. Looks like he'll tap in for an easy par. Oh, uh, here I am, you guys, for birdie. It's my bunker shot. i try to sink it one-handed. Videotape with one hand, putt with the other. Aim it, and just let it go. It's harder than it looks. All right, we got uh, Gabriel Ryder here playing uh, Queensland Golf Club today. Decided to come down and uh, hang out with me, play a little bit of golf. He's got about a pitching wedge from 160. Wow, that's really good. It's going right towards the hole, actually. Wow, great shot, Gabe. That's about so three that, feet, for real. It's about three feet away. That's a great shot, thanks. Thank you. Sorry about that, you guys. The commentator's a bloody liar. It's actually an 8-iron from 160. He's a compulsive liar. He can't help it. Now, James, on the other hand, being 5'5", 210, he's hitting pitching wedge from 160. Is that commentator Smiley O'Doo? Oh, wow. That's a high moon ball straight at the pin. Our hole number three, we went par four, par five, and now we are on a par three. About 155, slightly into the wind, slightly downhill, over a huge pondish, lakeish sea bay area. Okay, skinny green, pretty tough shot. Oh, that's gonna work out. He pulled it, but it's fading back, should just be the left side of the green. All right, there's Frenchy Boyce. That's where he put his iron shot, about 35 yards left of the pin. He's gonna try to chip it through the sand. See what he can do. Ah, oh, jeez, you just can't do much out of there when the greens are punched. Look how sandy they are. Just punch them today. All right, there's James coming out of the bunker there. Downhill, green, downhill lie to water over the pin. Oh, that's not bad at all there. Uh, nice shot, James. About five feet, four and a half feet. Boop. All right, here's James lining up his putt. About four and a half, five feet, five feet from par. Hit a pretty nice bunker shot. Left him an uphill putt. Right into the center. Man, he makes that look easy. Gabriel Reiter for birdie. Beauty. All right, what up, you guys? I'm gonna hit some uh, left-handed shots. You know, you're always working like one side of your body if you just keep hitting right-handed shots. So I want to learn to get better with my uh, left-handed swing. So I'll hit a few shots for you guys with a few different clubs. Alright, what up you guys? Here we are in the pro shop where I work, where you guys have seen me work, and where I will be working, okay? Here we are, and I'm going to show you a couple things that very much irritate me, okay? I don't know if that was proper uh, grammar to use in that sentence, but I don't know why I'm rambling. Anyways, I'm going to show you a couple things that irritate me. One is people who grab these tees. As you can see, the sign says, handful of tees, one dollar. 
I'm going to try to reiterate what the customers do when they see this, okay? So pretend I am a customer right now. Oh, handful of teas, really? Handful of teas? Yes. Yes, it's a dollar. Yeah, okay, handful. Really? Wow, that's that's a great deal, man. Oh, oh yeah, man. Here's a dollar. Oh, cool, bro. Okay. Here we go here. Oh, handful? Okay. You sure? That's a good deal. Okay, right here we go. What are you doing? Seriously? Oh, bro. Oh, sorry, man. Oh, did you do it bad? Oh, it doesn't matter, dude. This is a great deal, sir. <laughs> uh, thanks, man. Just leave, sir. Just leave. <laughs> this is sweet, my dog. Yeah. Okay. That's what the customers do, and it very much irritates me, okay? If you get a dollar's worth of a handful of teas, make sure you get a handful, and that's it. I don't want you spilling all over my car, but I gotta go pick these up. It's very, very stressful. All right, what up, you guys? Just pulled up to the course. Figure I... Figure I...